What's going on YouTube? Y'all already know who it is. It's your girl Janari Nicole and I'm back with another video. I said I'm back with another video and today, 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 as y'all can see by the title, I'm doing a video on watch this before applying to Kennesaw State University. Um, I'm going to tell y'all should y'all apply, should you not apply, what good, what's the ins and out of Kennesaw State University, no cap. So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so y'all can see every time I post and let's get straight into it. So I know a lot of people are starting to apply for colleges. Um, they trying to figure out what kind of I'm going to. Of course, I am a third year student at Kennesaw State University. Um, so um, pretty much I have a list of things on my phone that I want to talk about with y'all. So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so y'all can see every time I post. Like I always say in my... Alright, so if you do not know what... If you don't know what KSU is... KSU is Kennesaw State University. It is in Kennesaw, Georgia. We have three different campuses. We have Kennesaw Campus, which is our main campus where everybody be at, really. We have the Marietta Campus. Marietta Campus is for like STEM majors. Don't know what STEM majors is. Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. Um, then you have our um, Italy Campus that is for our state abroad students. So we have three campuses in total. Yeah, Kennesaw sponsor me. No cap, because I go to school, but I'm always talking about it. No cap, but um pretty much we about to get into the nitty gritty of the school what's the ins and out what i like what i don't like and everything else because i know y'all have questions i know y'all want to know um is this a good school da, 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 da. so yeah um like i said before i am a third year student i am a middle grade education major and we're gonna get into all of that because one of my you know say topics that i wrote on my phone is about majors on here so yeah so we're gonna get nitty gritty yeah yeah all right, so my first topic that I got is the admission process, okay? Over the years, it has changed. Before, it was like the SAT, you gotta take the SAT, you gotta take ACT. When I applied to KSU, because they had slanted, like they had pretty much canceled out of their rules, like you, it was optional. I did not have to take the SAT, thank God, because I hate taking, you know what I'm saying, tests. I hate taking tests, so I did not have to take the SAT. I came in here with a 3.7, 3.75 GPA from high school. So, um, pretty much I came off of my grades and academics. Um, and yeah, so um, pretty much when you're doing it, if I'm not mistaken, they still have the rule. It's optional. If you uh, want to take um, the SAT or the ACT, I feel like it's still optional. If I'm not mistaken, we're going to look it up so we can know for sure. Um, um, what I'm looking at here, they, this is for fall 2024 students. So if you are coming to Kennesaw State in fall of 2024, you want to apply. I'm going to read this off of the Kennesaw State website. I don't know if y'all can see this. Y'all cannot. Sorry, y'all. I don't mean to keep bumping the mic. Yeah, I'm going to read this to y'all so y'all will know um, what's the ins and outs. So first, first year student announcement. First year students applying to Kennesaw State University for the spring, sum, summer, or and fall of 2024 semesters may be admitted without an SAT, ACT, ooh, ACT, or SAT score if they have a GPA of 3.2 or higher. Okay. Now it was different when I um, applied to KSU. You had to have a 2.5 to get in without the SAT, but I guess they changed it because school has went back to normal pretty much. Um, students who have a GPA of less than 3.2 should submit official ACT or SAT scores along with their high school school, along with their high school transcript to be considered for admission. All students must be on track to complete the required high school curriculum to be admitted. Um, Kennesaw State calculates your high school GPA for admission based on 17 required high school um, courses. Um, high school uh, scholarships are still required for uh, test scores are still required for some scholarships like Zell Miller and programs for architecture. Um, you know what I'm saying? So, right, as, as y'all heard, pretty much you have to have a 3.2 or higher to um, pretty much do it without ACT or SAT. It's way different from when I applied to KSU because they had skewed the whole, you know what I'm saying? They skewed the whole thing with the SAT and the ACT. So it's way different for me, but if you have a 3.2 or higher, you know what I'm saying? You can get into the school without the SAT or ACT. Now if you're slower than that, you have to take the SAT or ACT to get into Kennesaw State University. Yeah, if you don't want to take that and you got a 3.2 or higher, Hey man, 
apply you feel me um also i know that if i'm not mistaken the application to get into Kennesaw, so you do have to do an application to get into Kennesaw. I think the application is like forty dollars or fifty dollars, but that's usually how all like um what I'm trying to say, all of um colleges are. So if you're trying to get into, you still gotta fill out application um and to get into these schools. So you gotta fill them out. There is a website for HBCUs, but we're not talking about HBCUs. We're talking about KSU in general, KSU in general. But yeah, um, I would honestly say if you had that 3.2 or higher, you don't want to say the SAT, ACT or SAT, go ahead and apply to KSU, man. Go ahead and apply and pay that money to the apply. No cap. Now, some of y'all might be asking, what is Kennesaw State University? Um, is it like, is it an HBCU? Is it a PWI? What is it? So, as I've heard, from the previous months. KSU is not known as a PWI no more. It's like, it's not an HBCU either, of course, but it's not a PWI because there's so many black students on campus. I, I forget who I heard. I think I might've heard that from my advisor, but um, pretty much they're saying that KSU is not a PWI no more, pretty much. So yeah. Um, all right, the next one I got on here is take a tour of the school, okay? With the process of applying, you need to tour schools, okay? And specifically KSU, okay? When I say that, and you're probably like, do I really got to tour? I would say tour it. We have a beautiful campus, okay? You're gonna see different things. You're gonna see, like, you might see fraternities, sororities, if you know what D9 is, you're gonna see them on the campus. Um, um, I'm in a fraternity, so you'll probably see me in my letters, no cap. Um, I'm in a um, National Service Fraternity here at KSU called Alpha Phi Omega National Service Fraternity um, and it's co-ed. So you'll probably see me in my letters because I wear my letters a lot. Um, but pretty much you want to um, come to the school. You want to see what the school has in store for you. It is a big campus. If you are more of like an engineering student, you're probably going to be on the other campus still tour the school um, because you can still have classes on this campus. Still tour the school though. Tour the school. Tour it. Tour it. I'm telling y'all, tour it. You don't want to go to a campus that you have not toured yet. The only campus I've ever toured was Kennesaw and I fell in love with it. Now, give and take. When I was in high school and middle school, I've toured like Spillman and Morehouse and everything. Um, I've toured... Uh, Gordon State College, I think that's what it's called. I've toured other school, I've toured Bethune Cookman, but Kennesaw State just really stuck out to me just because I'm an education major. Uh, my mentor, um, she went to Kennesaw State and she was the same age I was before I changed it, but we're gonna get into all that when we get to the, the topic of majors and changing majors and everything. But yeah, um, I would honestly say that you need a tour school just for the simple fact that, you know what I'm saying, you wanna know where you're going. You feel me? Especially if you're moving away from home, you want to know where you're going. Even if you're not, you still need to tour the school just for the simple fact you need to know where you're going. Literally, that's the simple fact. Even though I toured the school, the school is still big. So, you know what I'm saying? And if I'm away around the school, but touring helps because you're learning different things about the school. You feel me? Yeah. Also, before I go on to the next topic, if you look on YouTube and you see different people and they're like, you know what I'm saying, look at this video before you go. A lot of them go to Kennesaw State. So, of course, listen to what they're saying. Also, listen to what I'm saying as well. But also, go tour the school, okay? Some things that we don't know, tour guys might know. So, I feel like you should go to the school. Go tour Kennesaw if you're trying to come. No cap. All right. So, the next topic that I got on here is school life. What? about college life is so interesting college is what you make it <laughs> yeah i can't explain it no better college is what you make it so you sit around the house all day everybody you know what i'm saying everybody's different but from my perspective okay freshman year i didn't really have a college life for real yes i had friends but i wasn't really going nowhere for real because i didn't want to be around nobody no cap sophomore the year though i feel like going out you feel me i started going to different places just for the simple fact that college is what you make it, you feel me? You can't sit around the house all day, it's college. You feel me? Some people, you know what I'm saying? If you have that on campus experience, take that, take it. If you especially live in a dorm or you, you know what I'm saying, you got an off campus apartment, go to the events, bro. Go to the events, go to them. You're not gonna know what you can find unless you go to the events. No cap, that's a, the best way I can put it. Go to the events, no cap. Learn what you like. You gotta experience college, like you gotta go to different things to learn what you like. No cap, no cap. 
Like, if I didn't go to certain things, I wouldn't have known what I liked. No cap. Then that's just honest God. I would not know what I like. Go to events. No cap. Go to events. Go to events. No cap. Go to events. No cap. Go to the events, bro. Go to the events. Learn what you like, bro. For Kenneth, you have to go to the events. We have Black KSU. We have KSU Cat. You not gonna know. Like, we have homecoming. We have artists come. When I say artists, I mean celebrities. Artists. Uh, one of the people that came was Megan and Stallion, but that was my fresh, my brother's freshman year, so I wasn't here for it, but he was telling me that Megs came, but that was when Meg first came out for real. So we need to go to the best, no cap, go to the events and learn what you like. Go to involvement fairs, go to different events, learn what you like, bro. You got clubs, you got different things, so orgs, you got different things, so go to them, learn. Learn what you want to do here at KSU, learn. No cap, that's the best way I could put it. Learn what you want to learn about the school. It's an experience. You're not going to know what you like from what you don't like unless you go and experience the school. No cap. You have to literally walk around and learn different things, even if it's on social media. Learn those things through social media. No cap. But yeah. On to the next topic. All right. The next question is, is it different from what I'm used to? So, like I said again, KSU is used to be known as a PWI. If you don't know what a PWI is, it's a predominantly white institution that is very different from an HBCU. If you don't know what an HBCU is, it's a historically black college slash university. I do not go to an HBCU, okay? So, let me break it down. So, where I'm from, if you know what DeKalb County is, you know what Decatur is, Life on Your Church is, okay, East Atlanta, okay? If you know what those parts are, you know, you know, you know, you know that these schools, that's in DeKalb County are predominantly black, okay? I'm gonna break that down to you specifically. In my classes at KSU, I am not lying to y'all. If you see me on TikTok, and I, I, when black history started, and it was the first day of black history, and I said I was the only black person in my class, I'm not exaggerating, okay? So, with that being said, again, KSU is known as a PWI. They have changed it a little bit. Um, but with that being said, I I still consider it a PWR just for the simple fact that just for the simple fact that it, it usually just be like two the most be four people in my class. When I say people, I mean black people in my class. So that is very different from what I'm used to. You feel me? It's very different. I've been in a class yet. No, I have a class now. That's majority black people, okay? It's my African American literature class, but of course, look at the name of the time. It's African American literature. I think we have two white kids in that class, but you know, it's still a PWI. Now, my other classes, though, majority white. You feel me? And I have no problem with that. You feel me? Um, it's opened up a different, uh, it's diverse because it's way more black students than it probably has been in years. Um, Pretty much, it's it's way different than what I'm used to. I'm used to all black students in my class. Yeah, all black students in my classes. I'm not used to, you know what I'm saying, kind of feeling like the all ball kind of. But then, you know what I'm saying, you have different uh, ors, like you have Cashew Cab, and you know what I'm saying, they're making us feel inclusive because they're bringing black artists on campus. So we have BKSU, which is Black KSU. Um, I'm in an org called um, BTM, which is Black Teachers Matter. So that right there makes it stand out for me because other students that want to be teachers just like me, you know what I'm saying, they feel the same way I do. It's not a lot of, you know, people like us, it's not a lot of black people that's in classes with me. There's not a lot of people like me in my classes, so joining different orgs helps me, you know what I'm saying, not feel like an all wild lot in class. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. Um, another thing is just, you just gotta, you know what I'm saying, we have different orgs. We have NCNW, which is National College for Negro Women. We have PBM, is Progressive Black Men. We have Sisters, is an org on here for black women. Uh, College Girls Rocks, uh, if I'm not mistaken, they're all black. Um, I'm trying to think of something else. It's it's different things on campus. Um, you just really just have to find your way around campus. Honestly, we have of course Divine Nine, 
um, which we call them D9. Um, I'm in a fraternity. Um, majority of my brothers in the fraternity are black. Um, just have to, you know what I'm saying, find your way around campus pretty, pretty much. Um, a lot of your classes are going to have, you, you're gonna see like, you're gonna see a lot of stuff that you're probably not used to, especially if you are from the Cab County, okay? So, um, you're gonna see a lot of stuff you're not used to. It's gonna be a lot of different stuff. And you're gonna be like, this is way different than the one you're used to. And I had to get used to it. And I'm like, dang, like, it's not, you know what I'm saying? It's not, it's, it's way different, no cap. So, you just gotta have to get used to it, no cap. But now I'm a part of different things, with, you know what I'm saying, that helps me um, not feel so like an outlaw, like a, uh, an outlier, honestly. So that's my take on it. You know what I'm saying? You just find your ways. Like it's your own path. So you're finding your way um, from what you're used to. Next one, and I know a lot of y'all worried about this parties, okay? A lot of y'all want to go to the parties. Y'all like, Janiya, how it is? You feel me? Janiya is a homebody, y'all. No cap. I'm not going to say I've never been to a party because I've been to a couple, okay? Um, now, usually the parties I'll be going to, and I'll be going to kickback. Y'all already know what a kickback is, you know what I'm saying? It's a small little gathering other than a party, okay? You usually say it like an apartment, okay, or a dorm. Pretty much, you know what I'm saying? You got food and everything. Now, you know what I'm saying? For parties, though, it's way different, okay? It's over 100 people in the same room. You feel me? Lit. You feel me? Uh, the parties be starting at like 10, they don't get out to three, but that's for Kennesaw. Don't know about these other schools, but Kennesaw, we be having a good time, you feel me? Uh, the parties I'll be going to is D9 parties, you feel me? But, um, the parties be lit. Shout out to them, man. Shout out to them. The parties be lit, no cap. Uh, I've been to a couple parties this year. I haven't been to one this semester, but last semester I went to a party called Wasted. It was the Alpha Phi Alpha fraternity incorporated they are a d9 fraternity here at kennesaw state university the um um and yeah so i went to one day parties lit you know what i'm saying it was very lit loved it it was real cool i think i stayed the whole time not gonna cap um but it was very lit and you know what i'm saying we we dare to have a good time you know what i'm saying nothing really happens at the parties you just dare to have a good time you feel me you feel me you know what i'm saying you dare to have a good time go have a good time man you know what i'm saying don't go to you know what i'm saying your work not done Yo, let me talk about that real quick. Your work not done, get that work done before any party you go to. You feel me? So if you're going to go to a party, bro, finish that work at the beginning of the week or get that work done ahead of time. So you ain't got to worry about that when you're trying to go to the party. No cap. Worry about, you know what I'm saying, the party so you don't have to worry about. Don't worry. You feel me? Work hard, then play later, literally. Work hard first and then play later. So get that work done first. And then... Go to the party, no cap. There's different things, you know what I'm saying? But go, go, go do that work first. Get that work done first. I don't go to no party till my work done, no cap. So go do that work, cause let me tell you something. You go to a party, I'm gonna tell y'all this with my hat off. You go to a party and your work ain't done, that's gonna catch up to you, no cap. Cause you're gonna be tired, you ain't gonna wanna do it. When you get back to the crib, do the work first. Do it beforehand. You get that work two weeks in the go ahead and get that. Go ahead and do that, cause you know you wanna go to that party. In two weeks, get the work done. You already, you already knocked it out, you feel me? So, get the work done before, beforehand. Get it done beforehand. <laughs> okay. The next topic I got is professors. So, um, majority of the professors I've had are white. Um, every professor is different. So, every professor is different uh, when it comes to like doing different things. So, everybody, every professor is different. If you don't know, we have something called lockdown browser that kids use. So, some professors use that, some professors don't. Because some professors be like, we don't give you anxiety for a test, so we're not going to do the lockdown browsers. Versus some professors, they give you lockdown browser. Lockdown browser, going to get y'all a little scoop on lockdown browser. Lockdown browser is this thing where you cannot search anything up on the internet. Okay, so when you have those, make sure you're studying hard. No cap, make sure you're studying hard because you cannot use any notes or anything. Now, depending on the professor, some professors might say you can use notes. Some professors don't say you can't. You feel me? So it depends on your professor. No cap, it depends on your professor. If your professor wants you to use notes, then you can use notes. If your professor, if your professor uh, doesn't want you to use um, notes, you can't use notes. 
that's simply how it go, no cap. But um, for the simple fact that, um, for the simple fact that, you know what I'm saying, every professor is different, I can't speak on every professor. But some of my professors, you know what I'm saying, I'm cool with, you feel me? My advisors for Black Teachers Matters are professors. For the simple fact, you know what I'm saying, every professor is different. I'm going to say that. You know saying? You, some professors you're going to like, and some professors you're not. You feel me? I haven't liked all my professors, okay? Some of my professors were very hard. When I say hard, I mean they were difficult. You know what I'm saying? Some of my professors were difficult to deal with. You feel me? So, like... Some of the things I just have out of my control. Sometimes I'll drop out of the class. When I say drop out of class, I don't mean drop out of college. I mean simply for the fact I'm dropping out of the class, like withdrawing from the class for the simple fact that my professor is giving me a very hard time. Now you can do that. It's going to catch up to you later on. So you don't want to keep withdrawing from class over and over again just because you have that effect because that can put you back longer than you really want to be. No cap, but um, I would honestly say to, you know what I'm saying, Look at rate my professor before you even, you know what I'm saying? We get to choose our professors, okay? So, when I say choose, we have this whole thing. It's a whole thing called our uh, experience. You have to go through degree words and look at the classes that you have. And you get to choose your professor. By the time your time uh, ticket hit, go ahead and choose your professor. Go ahead and knock that out, right? So, the thing is, you can look on this thing called Rate My Professor and look at their names, look up with the school, and then um, see what people are saying about their professor. And a lot of times, they be they be right. Sometimes they be wrong. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's perspective on everybody is different. So, my perspective on some professors might be different from yours. You feel me? So, my perspective on, let's say, a math teacher, I might say, I ain't like that professor because they gave me a very hard time when I was really trying. Versus you might say, I really like this professor. So, Everybody's perspective is different, but right, my professor really helps with that. No cap. No cap. So every professor is different. Um, try to, you know, weigh it out that first week. After that first week, during that first week, you realize this, you know, I'm saying, I'll wait to take this class. You can drop the class, but just don't keep doing that over and over again. No cap. But yeah, we're about to go on to the next topic. All right. So the next topic I got on here is research. Research your major. Okay. KSU does not have every major. I'm not gonna lie to y'all right now. They sometimes take the majors out of the like the system. So when I say that, I mean at one point in time they had the major in the school. Next moment, they didn't have the major no more. So what I'm telling y'all to do is I'm looking at y'all in y'all eyes to tell y'all go research. Go to do, do your research. Do your research. Okay, do your research. See what you think about the school, okay? So when I say that, I literally mean do your research on your major. So with mine, I knew that Kennesaw had education. Every school pretty much has education in it, pretty much every university. But um, by university, Kennesaw State has elementary education, they have middle grade education, they have uh, secondary education, they have math education, so to say, all that, okay? I I realized during my third year, okay, last semester, I realized I didn't want to, you know what I'm saying, I didn't want to do, you know what I'm saying, I didn't want to do elementary education for a simple fact, I didn't like it, but I'm already in the program, you feel me, so I ended up having to, you know what I'm saying, change my major and uh, change my major and, you know what I'm saying, it pushed me back a little bit just for the simple fact that I waited. You feel me? So um, that's two topics in one. So I'm gonna just combine the topics in one. So researching your major, okay? So research your major first, okay? See what Kinsella has, okay? They'll tell you in there if they have this major. Look into that major too. Like research outside of Kinsella. Like what is this major? What what am I gonna be doing in this major? Because if you find out that ain't what you wanna do, you need to look at another major. You feel me? If, especially if you're trying to come to KSU, they have so many majors, but you need to look at the one year's trips really trying to do pretty much you feel me so then that comes with changing your major too okay i am a third year student at ksu okay i'm a third year student <clears throat> and i'm a sophomore junior so with that being said um pretty much what i'm saying to y'all is is the simple fact i changed my major i changed my major three years in okay I was, you know what I'm saying, I was sold on I was going to do elementary education. Now, elementary education is kindergarten through fifth grade, okay? 
I was sold on the simple fact that I was just going to do that, okay? I got into the school systems. When I say school systems, I mean volunteer. You have to volunteer when you do elementary education. Any education program that you do, you have to volunteer. It's kind of like an internship, but it's not, okay? I got in the school system, did not like it, changed my major at the end of the semester, okay? Changed it to middle grades because I just want to teach math and sometimes social study. So I changed that, you feel me? So you want to research. If you end up deciding you want to change your major, I say start it early because you don't want to do what I did, change it when you get in the program, you feel me? So you want to change it when, you know what I'm saying, you like, First year, second year, you realize sometimes, you know, everybody's different, you feel me? I wouldn't say change it third year. If you're in the program, don't go ahead and change it because you're already in the program, you feel me? So I would say try to change it beforehand, if that makes sense. Try to change it in the first two years. If you realize you don't like it, go ahead and change it, you feel me? Because you don't want to keep wasting money. You don't want to keep doing that. Like, you don't want to keep changing it. You have to keep adding on money, like, yeah. So I would say, honestly, Try, like, test it out first. Don't just say, you know what I'm saying, I didn't like it. Like, I didn't. Test it out first. Test that major out first. See if you like it. If you don't like it, you feel me? Change it. But make sure they have that major you're trying to change to. Because then that comes into, like, transfer to another school. That, like, see. I knew they had middle grades just for the simple fact. They can't so I was big on education. When I say education, I mean education majors. So, you know what I'm saying? Check to see if they have your major first before you just, you know what I'm saying? Check, check to see if you're gonna change it. Check to see if they got it, no cap. But yeah, we're going to the next topic. All right, y'all, so the next topic is managing school and other things. So when I say managing school and other things, that comes back with time management, you feel me? So when I say that, you know what I'm saying? It really comes with that planner. I told y'all to get, get that planner, get that planner. Even if you're not gonna get us, get that planner, no cap. Get that planner. Get that planner. Okay. When I say get a planner, I really mean that. Get a planner. The planner is going to keep you on track with all your assignments and everything. I use Excel and I have another planner. No cap. I use Excel and I have another planner. So, Excel is Microsoft Excel. And then I have a hard book. So, when I'm done, you know what I'm saying? I go on Excel, cross that thing out. And I'm done with it on my planner. I'll cross it out. No cap. So, the whole point of it, you gotta have time management. Okay. Like, you gotta have time management. Like, it's gonna get to a point where you're gonna be like, you know what I'm saying? Every college student goes through it. You're gonna be like, bro, I don't just don't feel like it today. You know? mm -hmm. Like, you gotta stick to your plan. Like, don't catch your assignments as soon as you get them. Knock them out. So, by the end of the week, you're like, I ain't got nothing to do. I chill. You feel me? So, like, with me being a, a college student in a fraternity, I'm on e for that fraternity. Then you got uh, you got my other or, and then me trying to, you know what I'm saying, still trying to work, doing my YouTube, uh, still trying to, you know, have my businesses. I have a jewelry business and a photography business. Uh, still trying to, you know what I'm saying, hang out with friends, still trying to, uh, still trying to manage everything, trying to manage myself, you feel me? It, it comes with, it comes with time management, no cap. And you, you really want to, um, you really want to take your time with it, honestly. I ain't gonna cap. You want to think about, all right, I gotta do this assignment, all right? So what, what, what do I have to do today, all right? I gotta do this today, or I gotta do this at the end of the week, all right? So if I gotta do this at the end of the week, all right, let me go ahead and knock this assignment out. I ain't gotta worry about it in the week. You feel me? So you gotta, like, let's say you at Kennesaw and you in different wars, okay? You in, I'm gonna use, for example, you in NCNW, okay? Or you in CGR. I'm gonna say you in both of those, okay? You have a meeting for NCNW on Wednesday. You have a meeting for CGR on Thursday, okay? But you got an assignment. You got two assignments, one due on Wednesday and one due on Thursday. But you got it on Monday. Go ahead and knock it out. Go ahead and knock it out. Like, even if you have to take Monday and Tuesday to knock those out, go ahead and knock it out. So when Wednesday and Thursday come, you ain't got to worry about it while you at your meetings. You just focus on your meeting. You feel me? So it comes with a lot of time management. Like, punters are going to be your best friend. No cap. Like, any school you go to, not just Kennesaw, punters are going to be your best friend. You need those. No cap. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Y'all need those. So get a planner. And make sure, you know what I'm saying, you on top of your work before anything. Because you can't do none of the other stuff until you do your work. 
do your work first and then worry about everything else. If you not can't work out as soon as you get it, bro, you're fine. I promise you, you're going to be straight. So just go ahead and knock it out. And then worry about meetings and um, events and everything. Go ahead and knock that work out. As soon as you get it, like one of my professors give me work two weeks in advance and knock that thing out. So I ain't got to worry about it. When the week it come up, I ain't got to worry about it then. Go ahead and knock it out. So that way you ain't got to worry about nothing. No cap. No cap, I'm, I'm putting it on, I'm putting y'all on to it. Putting y'all on, not just to Kennesaw, to college in general, like, go ahead and knock it out. So, go, if you get it, bro, you get your work a month in advance, bro, knock that thing out, knock it out. Don't worry about it, like, knock it out. My professor, I have a professor, she gives us our work in advance. You go ahead and knock it out, no cap. If you want to knock it out, the work do it may. Go ahead and knock it out. Go ahead and knock it out, bro. Don't worry to the last minute. Knock it out. So that way you ain't got to worry about it. No cap. The next topic that I got on here, bro, is college hard. All right. So that might be a lot of questions y'all might have. Y'all like high school hard, bro, college hard. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Like, like, unless you just, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, you know what I'm saying? Unless you just know everything in the world, college is hard. It's going to be hard. Like, it's not meant to be easy. I'm not going to lie to you. It's not meant to be easy in no type of way no form fashion no way it ain't supposed to be easy um i will honestly say that um uh, it's not meant to be easy so you just gotta work hard you gotta work hard to be able to get where you need to be okay it's not easy in no shape or form it ain't supposed to be easy you feel me so it ain't supposed to be easy Ain't no shape or form. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. It's hard. It ain't gonna count. Like, sometimes, like, I have my mom, but I cry. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm not gonna shit a coat with y'all. I be crying. Because it's hard. It's Miss Mitchell be hard because you're getting a degree. You feel me? So, with, like, me trying to be a teacher, you feel me? You're, you're having to go through all these courses in school, and you're trying to find your way through it, and it's hard. But I'm not gonna lie to y'all. It's hard. It's hard. No cap. No cap. It's hard. It's meant to be hard. Um, but as long as you put that work in, you'll be fine. That's my honest advice to y'all. Like, put that work in. Cause it's supposed to be hard. But as long as you're doing your study, you understand, uh, you know what I'm saying? Time management. You know what I'm saying? Have a study buddy. You need a study buddy. No cap. No cap. Um, but get that study buddy, man. Cause cause hard, but but it ain't it ain't, you know what I'm saying? It ain't easy, but that don't mean it ain't hard. Wait, hold on. It, I ain't gonna say it's easy. Some classes be easy, you feel me? Some classes, I could not those up, get a, a, a hundred in that class. Some classes, you know what I'm saying? Some classes are just harder than others, you feel me? And you got this, like, cause is what you make it. Like, honestly, like, it's like an experience, so, and you you just coming here, power. You coming for the wrong reason. Like you probably coming here to get a degree. Not nah, okay. You trying to get with your parents. You doing it for the wrong reason. You supposed to be coming here to get a degree. So I would honestly say, bro, get you know what I'm saying. Get that degree. No cap. Get that degree. Get that degree. No cap. Um. Uh, first thing, procrastination. Procrastination is not it. Not gonna cap to y'all. Do not procrastinate. No cap. Don't procrastinate. Don't do it. You're going to mess up a lot with that. And in college, bro, you're going to procrastinate. It's just known fact. You're going to procrastinate. So what I would say is, bro, is, bro, get in on books. Like that's why I said a planner is key, bro, because you will procrastinate without one. Like, get a planner. Get something. Write your assignments down as soon as you get them. Do those assignments as soon as you get them. You're gonna procrastinate. That's the way of college. That's the way of life. You're gonna procrastinate. So I say, get that planner. No cap. Like that's the best best way I can put it. Get that planner, man. Get it so you won't procrastinate. No cap. Um, and procrastination is one thing. It's like a drug. No cap. It's like a drug. Not gonna lie to y'all. It's like a drug. Get in it. Get get in. All right, y'all. My last topic on here is being away from family. Okay, it is one of the hardest things you're going to have home. You're gonna be homesick. I was homesick. I was homesick for two years. <laughs> no cap. I was homesick for two years. Even though me and my brother lived together, um, I was homesick. I was homesick away from my mama. Now, give and take. 
I lived 45 minutes from home, but I was not going to come every day. That's a lot of driving. You feel me? Um, but um, I will say that I was very homesick. I was crying. I wanted my mama no gap. Um, if you know me, I call my mama mommy. So I wanted my mommy real bad. Um, but I will honestly say that it is very hard. So spend as much time with your family as you can before, especially if you want out of state. Spend as much time with your family as you can. You're not going to want to make that drive every day. Not. So I will honestly say spend as much time with your family as you can because being homesick is not it. No cap. So yeah. That's honestly all I got to say to y'all. No cap. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for watching the video. Um, as y'all can see, I have been tapping in to the video. So make sure y'all watch this video. Make sure y'all watch the other videos I have posted. Um, for the past two weeks, no cap, I have been posting nonstop. So make sure um, y'all tap into the videos um, and everything because I've been working hard on them. No cap. So, yeah. Um, until next time, y'all. Peace. And make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell so y'all can see every time I post. Until next time, peace.